Good morning, friends. Good morning. And welcome back for another day here at Sandals Royal Plantation in Ocho Rios, Jamaica. Day number three and our last day. Our last day. Well, we got off to a good start this morning. We had a nice uh, room service breakfast delivered. Yes, and it was very good. Very, very. It was very relaxing and very good. And we didn't show that because we jumped straight from that into doing our full resort tour. So make sure you check that out. But now we're gonna have another fun day today. That's right, and we gotta get going here because we have that snorkel excursion that we told you about. Not really an excursion, it's not an island route, so not mm -hmm. something you pay extra for. This is the included excursion with the snorkel boat right out there. It's gonna take us out somewhere in the ocean and we can go snorkeling. Yeah, so they give you um, a snorkel and fins and a mask and everything. We're bringing our own mask just because we like our mask, but everything is included. Um, I'm pretty sure you have to wear life vests and they include those, um, but everything's completely free. They take you out on the boat. So I'm excited. We should maybe see like some more kind of stuff than just off the beach. Yeah, so that'll be a good time, but we gotta get going because our appointment's coming up quick. So let's get started. Day number three, final day, Sandals Royal Plantation. Let's go. All right, down here at the end of the East Beach, getting ready for our snorkel adventure, checking in here at the little blue building. You do have to sign saying you can swim. Everything's good to go. You gotta get you sized up for your fins, get you a life vest. They did say um, no shoes, no bags, um, nothing like that can go on the boat. So you have to leave that here ashore. So just leave those things here, but they'll get you all your gear. We got our fins and our vest. We brought our own snorkels. So those are good to go. We can use those. We're about to head out. The boat. Just jump in the water here. Let's get the mask on and we're gonna hit it. <laughs> is that really what that means? He's waving his hand. Oh, okay. <laughs> I made a joke. There was a horn, and I'm like, does that mean it's time to go in? He's like, oh, yes, that's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> that is what it is, indeed. Have you enjoyed your snorkeling adventure? I have. Me too. Well, it's a beautiful fish. This is uh, great for beginners, I would say. Yeah. If you're an expert, you might be a little put off just because you have to wear these big old super yeah. plush vests, so there's not really any diving. And Yeah, you can't dive, but... You do see a lot of fish, and it's like, I think they said it's like 17 feet deep. So yeah, not bad. when you jump off, then when you get closer to the reefs, of course it's shallower, but. The jump off is fun. Yeah, it is. <laughs> now we get to climb back up. Me.
a paddle board in. Yes. Right now I'm sit boarding. So I'm, I'm gonna... knee boarding right now. But I'm getting past the little break and then I'm gonna stand up and that's where the fun starts. Yeah, so far <laughs> these are wobbly. So of course paddle boarding is included here at Sandals, one of the many activities, as of course was our snorkeling tour that we just got done with. Um, so just in case you were interested in paddle boarding and you wanted to know where you're allowed to go here at Sandals Royal Plantation, you want to stay out of the swimming area that's marked by the buoys. You can go down to the pier over there at Sandals Ochi, a couple doors down. You can go out to the coral breakers. You see where that's where the waves are breaking out there. Coral reef, you can go alongside of it. You can look at it, just not over it or beyond it. And then to the east, you can go to the rock cliffs all the way over there if you want. So lots of places you can go. Boy, it is hard to balance on this one. We've done paddle boarding in Fort DeSoto in uh, Tierra Verde, Florida. We've done it in Vogel State Park in Georgia and on the lake. And these were... Those were much more stable. <laughs> this one is rocking and kind of fighting the waves here. Not that they're overly big or strong waves, but it's kind of just pushing and rocking. That's a workout. I think I'm gonna stay low here. Crystal clear water, no matter where you go. We were snorkeling out there, out on the boat. You can see everything. So nice, even on a completely cloudy overcast day. Beautiful water all around. I recommend if you're bringing a GoPro, bring a wristy or head strap or head strap something because having this at the end whoa, <laughs> threw up the balance. It's tough out here. All right. You ready? You're going to get my best effort right here. Maximum okay. effort. Maximum effort, okay? Maximum effort. You're up. You're going. You got it. This is one of those activities, I promise you, your like second time doing it will be vastly better than your first time doing it. I promise you. Also, if you're not into snorkeling, I would recommend going for the glass bottom boat tour when it's available, just so you can get a beautiful view of the water and, and the reefs and stuff. But it's actually a great view of the island when you get out away from everything. You see the mountains, you see the clouds kind of shrouding. So definitely come out on, on some kind of vessel. Yeah. Maybe even this catamaran with island routes. Hmm, that looks fun. Lay down here like I'm going surfing, paddling out. Took a nap out here. Pretty nice. Sandals Royal Plantation. Ochi has a lot more stuff, but from the water, at least, Royal Plantation is much more beautiful in my opinion. was fun. Goodbye paddle boards. Also, like I mentioned before, you can kayak if you prefer that instead of paddle boarding. Or you can do the hobby cat miniature sailors. I got those right there. Maybe next time. We would really like to do that. We have no idea about it. We need some more time. So we do a longer sandal stable. We'll consider doing one of these things. Yay!
That was fun. We got to do water activities today. The weather cooperated. Fun activities. Yay! Now next time, those. Yeah, that's what I was just saying. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> we're, we're like this. Yeah, we want to definitely do this, but we those? need more time. So we have transversed the property from over at the East Beach, now here to the West Beach, just below our room. Our room's right up there. And we're out here on the uh, this pier. Chelsea's gonna go to the terrace, which is currently open for lunch, because we decided we'd rather have lunch there than dress up for dinner again. So we're not gonna do dinner at the terrace. So having said that, we're gonna have lunch, not at the terrace, but we're gonna have the terrace cuisine. Chelsea's ordering it to go. We're gonna bring it down here, and we're gonna eat it out here on the pier. And then tonight, we're gonna probably go to the Wobbly Peacock and have some gastropub food. We're really excited about that. It's, that's our kind of food. You know, like the fancy dinner like last night at, at Le, Le Papillon or, you know, seafood or anything like that. That's always great. But uh, we love wings and mozzarella sticks and nachos and burgers. That's kind of our deal. In the meantime, while she is gone ordering that, I'm going to throw on the snorkel mask and hop down in the water here. Yesterday, I snorkeled around the pier there with the gazebo. So now let's snorkel around this one. Let's throw on the mask and see what we can find. to catch you up a little bit. I went to go grab us some lunch. I went up to the terrace because we went to the um, the Sandals app, which there is, if you didn't know, there is a Sandals app and it has information for each specific resort. It's a really good app. It gives you like information about the restaurants, it has the menu, tells activities and things like that. So we saw the terrace lunch menu and um, it had like a burger and a steak sandwich and me and Matt thought that sounded really good. Um, I went up to the terrace, which if you don't remember where the terrace is, it's right up there. It's where we see Sandy and we ate breakfast there yesterday. Now I went up there to order and said, hey, can I get something to go? They said, of course, here's the menu, take a look. And the menu was different than what was on the app. Um, I'll put an image of it right here. I took a picture. Um, so it wasn't really the stuff that we were really wanting. Um, so we decided to just go right here to Royal Grill, which is where we had lunch on the very first day. And it was really good, so we decided to have it again. But we're gonna get some different things this time. So I went up there. I asked if um, we could get our food to go and eat it on the pier. They said, of course, um, we'll bring it out to you. They already brought my Coke and Matt's water for us already. And they're working on our food right now. So it's really nice that for lunch, you can basically get anything that's open. You can get it to go and you can have it outside. You can have it here on the pier. You can have it on the beach. Um, and of course you can get room service and get that anywhere you want if you want it on the beach or on the pier or something like that. So it's nice just because we're enjoying not having some rain today. So it's really nice that we can enjoy eating outside and doing as much outside as possible. So I'm gonna wait for the food 
And that's gonna continue snorkeling and that's where we're at. Food's here. I'm so happy for food. I am starved. I mean, I know, I feel like I say that every video. I'm so hungry, I'm starving. I am kind of like always hungry. Well, cause we're always going, 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 going and then time to eat, you know? Yeah, well plus we were in the water so much today and that like really works up your appetite. It does. We have Yum. food. So what do we have? Jerk chicken, which looks awesome. Uh, fries, coleslaw. Um, calamari with a spicy aioli or no Cajun aioli or something. All right. Something like that with fries, and then a burger with fries and onion rings and a special like. It looks like it's the same sauce as this. It said it was like a Jamaican barbecue sauce. Ooh, it kinda, buddy. It kind of looks like it's the similar as the jerk sauce. We'll maybe. take it. And I mean, come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, and it's like they know me. They brought me lots of ketchup. See. Yay! So the rain came, so we're escaping the rain in here. This is the uh, like cabanas reserved for the governor suite, but no reserve sign, so up for grabs. And look who's joining us! Chirpy. This is Matt's heaven. Yep. Beach, full day of snorkeling, food, and cat. The rain continues to fall, but it's been quite all right. We're still set up in our little cabana here with a friend. I did want to point something out. If you're curious as to where exactly you go on the snorkel boat, that is not the snorkel boat. That's the scuba diving boat, but we were parked right next to it. So basically right out there, that's where you'll be heading. rain has finally stopped and so we did a do to our cabana bed once again we were able to use because the sweet guests were not i tell you what we never get cabanas like we never buy them like a like uh like days at port or like we go to like water parks or something we never get them but it was nice having a cabana this one was nice but i have to say the best part chirpy is getting some fresh rain water that's trickled down. Oh, he's done now. Bye, done with his drink. We'll see you a little later, okay? He says, okay, you can go ahead and leave. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm, this is my new spot now. All right, this can be your private. No one's ever welcomed me up here. Private and sweet cabana. There you go. So, All yours, Chirps. And when you come to Royal Plantation in the future, refer to the cabana on the West Beach, not as the West Beach Cabana or the Governor's Sweet Cabana. This is the Chirpy Cabana. If you want to be cool. Yeah, if you want, if you want to be correct. Just a quick aside over here at the mini bar. I'm really enjoying this fruta, cranberry, raspberry, because I love both of those and together it's delicious. <coughs> But my new favorite is this big uh, ginger beer flavored soft drink. So it's, it's not beer. I don't drink beer. I don't drink alcohol. But um, it, it's kind of like ginger ale meets maybe like Surge or some kind of citrus drink or something. It is delicious and Jamaican. And it has an awesome label on it. Night has fallen once more. It's our last night. Soak in the night aesthetic. We're gonna head back to the gift shop, see if there's anything we would like to purchase. Yeah, we went to the gift shop earlier today during our tour, and um, we saw some things of interest, And but you, we haven't shown it on the vlogs yet, so we wanna show that too. Let's go. Do you want a Jamaican shirt? Yes, I do, that would be really, really nice. I like the color of the lettering. Yeah. So many gray shirts, though. I've been trying to get more colorful shirts, like the one I'm wearing right now. They're kind of hard to film because they're so translucent, but look how cool these ornaments are. They have like sand in them. And the sand moves, and it has 
like little beach buckets and shells. And that says Saddles Jamaica. That's so cool. Also, in case you didn't know, the gift shop is right there. There's the fountain at the front of the resort. And then, this is the front of the resort. With the sandal signs. And clearly where you transfer. So that's where the gift shop is. We bought things. We're gonna go back to the room really quick and show you. Give us the lowdown. We bought things. First, we got these cute little animal king chains for our nieces. One niece loves flamingos and one niece loves purple, so these will work out quite nicely. And they're only $4, which I, I thought that was a good little souvenir. And then, of course, we got a magnet because we can't go anywhere without a magnet. And it should be a sandals magnet because this is our first time ever staying at sandals and we loved it. And it's a nice reminder of what I've been telling you throughout this trip. All these are destinations you can go to Sandals. And the main event map on a shirt. Check out the colors. It is awesome. Established 62. The colors on this is- It's like a retro style too. I like the, yeah. I like the lines cut through it. I like like the ombre yes. situation going on. That's very cool. It's really cool. Are you gonna wear it? Yeah, I'm gonna throw it on. Yay! Right Looking cool. Man, those colors look so good on you. I like them. I like it. You're looking fly. I like blue, I like green. You look like Marty McFly. Duck. Duck, you can't go and just buy plutonium. You can't go and just buy a Jamaican shirt. Actually, you can. We're in the lift for the first time. It, it, it is small. There you go. That's the entire floor space. It's really small, but it's cool. Beach. Oh, it was going. Oh. Wow, I couldn't even tell. Isn't that cool? Nice elevator art. And it's all wood. It was moving that whole time and I couldn't even tell. The bats are flying around up here by the pool. And one just swooped the water in the pool. They're all through the tree up there. That's awesome. There it goes. Whoop. Up in the alcove of the tree. Time for some billiards. Yeah. We got all set up here. We had to ask for the balls because they are sanitizing them between each juice because of COVID-19, so. Yeah, but it was cool. It was just they had a sign up on the table that said, like, let us help you. And then um, um, someone came and, and got them for us, so. Very easy cool. Peasy. Easy peasy. And there's no one else in here right now in the uh, games room slash loyalty desk, so we're good to take our masks off as well. Oh, uh, I just noticed. The, the the COVID social distancing marker thingies, they're sandals. Because we're at sandals. Oh, that's cute. I like it. Joseph food not just a bar also food i'm very excited about let's do it the Wabani peacock <laughs>
She has to go get the rest of it. But here's the first part. Mmm. Mozzarella sticks with fries. Yes. And marinara sauce. Yeah. And buffalo wings with fries. And, and probably blue cheese. Probably. Not sure on that. It looks like blue cheese versus ranch. Didn't know we were getting fries about the blue so that's fun. I'll take it. And we have more food coming. Also, too, we showed you the inside. We're right outside. They have like a DJ party kind of thing in there right now. I think normally it would be out here, like where the open kind of dance space is, but um, it, it's just wet and from the rain and stuff like that. They were gonna like have that. fire twirlers too, I think. Oh yeah, they were gonna have like fire dancers or something tonight, but they had to cancel it because of the rain, so. So the party goes inside and it is exceedingly loud in there. It's part of the reason why we're sitting out here. Yeah, and we just, we like the night aesthetic as yes. you guys know. Part two, it's here. What do we got? Another burger. Another burger. And more fries. Fish and chips, and I didn't even think, but she brought it without me asking. Malt vinegar, baby. That's yeah. where it's at. Matt's now in love because I brought Matt's malt vinegar. Time for you to go, time for us to eat. Sorry, <laughs> bye. <laughs> Only one thing to do after a large dinner. Eat ice cream. Some dessert, ice cream time, vanilla. Um, it's good. So long story short, all the food we ate was delicious. The fish and chips was on par with the best we've ever had. It, they were really good. It was seasoned, like, I mean, just really delicious. I liked the marinara sauce with the cheese sticks. It was like a little spicy. A little spicy red pepper flakes in there. Spicy marinara. It was yeah, good. that was good. The burger was a burger, you know, but good. I mean, nothing yeah, it, crazy there. It was kind of similar to the one we had earlier for lunch. Yeah. And, um, the wings were good, too. They were like playmakers on Royal Caribbean. Yeah, they were like playmakers. Also, too, I we mentioned in the tour, the resort tour, that the this is called the Wobbly Peacock. Do you want to know why it's called the Wobbly Peacock? Of course. Because that's where the, the peacocks go when they've been drinking, so then they get wobbly. Oh no. Because remember, peacocks are like the, the thing here. They're like the mascot. Yeah, it's we like, saw some earlier. Yeah, it's like the emblem. Yeah. We found Sandy out here at the terrace. Where else? Bye, Sandy. Bye, Sandy. Okay, we well, just walked in the room and... Wow. What in the... Now, I will say, we've never had this on a cruise. My goodness. This is nuts. The little projector light clipped right there to the TV stand. That is crazy. Projecting the hearts. Oh my god. With gosh. the swans, kissing swans. Is there a note? There is a note. It says, Do you like me? Check yes, no, <laughs> or maybe. It says, Sweet dreams from Marvin and Oren. Oh, our those butlers. Are, those are our butlers. Oh my gosh, how stinking cute is this? That is awesome. And I think we saw something in the bathroom as well. Whoa. Man, they drew a bath? Oh my gosh! Put candles? How long has it been like this? Leaves? It's, it's tepid. It is tepid. <laughs> but oh my gosh! A little thing down here on the floor? Who does this? Marvin and Orin. <laughs> Apparently, Marvin and Orin from Sandals. Oh my gosh, guys! Wow, that's awesome. This is crazy! And to clarify, this is not anything that we requested or paid for or no. made mention of. They just did this all on their own accord. On their own accord. So I wanted to show, um, we got our checkout information for tomorrow a little bit earlier and it's pretty cool. So they brought us an envelope and it has our, our checkout time and um, like our flight time and everything like that. So our flight tomorrow is at 2.58, so essentially 3. And our bus pickup time, the shuttle that'll take us to the airport is at 11. So it takes like an hour and a half to get from here to back over to Montego, which is where we're flying out of. And they said that they, they get you there like about two hours before. So we're gonna get there about two and a half hours before a flight. So just like if you, you know, if you're picking flights and you're trying to determine like when you would have to leave the resort, it's there, the shuttle will take you to the airport like so you'll get to the airport about two hours before your flight. Now, depending on which sandals location you are, that depends on when your shuttle's gonna leave. We're about an hour and a half, so we're leaving like almost four hours. It should be noted too, an hour and a half is with good traffic. Yes. Because we overheard someone saying they came in late last night, mm -hmm. bad traffic, and it took them 
like two and a half hours. So. Right. And they'll, I mean, sandals will get you there and everything like that. Like the no worries, but that's why they do it so far ahead just to make sure you don't miss your flight. But yeah, from here to Montego, it's going to be about four hours before your flight, two hours ish to get there. And then two hours before your flight that you're waiting at the airport. So yeah, but anyway, so they just have you like confirm your flight information and everything. And then they just ask you to be in the, um, in the lobby at about 15 minutes before your departure time. So you can like turn in your luggage and everything like that. And that you turn in your room key and your butler phone and everything else is pretty basic. But yeah. Oh, and we also found out too, if you wanted to tip your butler, but you didn't bring cash, when you check out in the morning, you can um, charge it to your folio. So you can just charge it to your card if you wanted to leave something for your butler. All right, guys, that is going to do it for us here from Sandals Royal Plantation. Man, it was such a great trip. I mean, it three nights goes by really fast, but I mean, we had a fantastic three days. I mean, as you can see, like the level of service is insane. Like I can't. I can't tell you enough how crazy like this whole butler thing is even if you know you don't utilize it like to the maximum capacity like us um, but even just having somebody like you know helping you out the whole time and checking in on you it's just it's just really nice it's a different level of service we've ever had before and it was just really cool um, I, I can't say enough good things I mean we definitely recommend this place um, we definitely recommend sandals and we can't wait to go to another location. Absolutely, this was an absolute blast. This place is charming, it's quaint, it's mm -hmm. intimate. It's very, very unique. It has a style all of its own. We would highly recommend you checking it out. One last final reminder that we are travel agents. We do work with sandals. We can get you here anywhere you wanna go in the Caribbean, or if you wanna take the family, go to their beaches locations. We can make any of that happen for you. Please feel free to reach out via that travel agent information at the end of this video. Our services are always complimentary and we'd love to help plan that trip for you. And once again, we want to thank you guys for joining us. Be sure if you missed them to go back and check out the other videos in the Sandals Royal Plantation playlist, as well as the other videos we've done from other Sandals locations and get a taste for what those are about as well. We hope you guys have had fun. We hope you've enjoyed tagging along with us here. And finally, we want to give one big final thank you to Sandals for inviting us to come down here and experience it just specifically so we could share it with you guys and you could see how awesome it is for yourself. We're going to have to sign off now. We've had a great trip, but it's on to the next one. We'll see you guys next time. Happy, Happy travels! travels.